Bart, hello. Hello, good afternoon. This is very uh, short time to prepare the team in summer. Uh, what strategy do you use uh, to make the best fitness of the team uh, to the start of the season? That's right. We have uh, only four weeks to prepare the team for uh, the new season in the Premier League. Um, but first of all, our preparation started already last year in June when we arrived here in uh, Samara. We uh, focus always on a long-term fitness and a long-term development of the team. So um, even if it is now four weeks, we have time enough to, uh, to prepare the team. Our preparation started already uh, in January um, this year, when we went to the training camps in Abu Dhabi and Turkey. It was very important for us. The club supported these training camps in a, in a very good way. We had um, very good accommodation, training pitches, games, circumstances to prepare the team for the second round in the, in the league. And you see also the results in our last 13 games. We win 11 games and only a draw in, uh, in two games. So now we are in the situation that we have four weeks preparation for the new season after only 20 days uh, vacation, holiday for, uh, for the players. So in fact, that's a very short time. But when you take into account the preparation also of uh, last season, and also the pre-season in January and February, it seems that we have a very, a very big time and we focus on the long-term development and long-term fitness for the, for the team. Uh, you mean that uh, 20 days of rest is uh, not enough time to lose very much? You have to take it in, you have to see it in the big picture. Because when you say uh, 20 days, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not too much uh, free time for the players to um, regain the freshness after a long season. But uh, you see at the end of uh, last season that uh, our team, our players were fit and they were also fresh at the end of the games, and the end of the season. So at the end of the last season, our fitness was relatively high and also our freshness was relatively high. So after 20 days of uh, free time, you can conclude that players will not lose too much of fitness and they will regain uh, more freshness in, uh, in these three weeks. So at the start of uh, the pre-season, uh, four weeks ago, we see all med immediately in the training session that the players were fresh, were hungry, uh, they were ready to train and they were already performing from the first training session at a relatively high um, level with a relatively high intensity in the, in the training sessions. So that gives us a very good um, feeling that the long-term fitness and the long-term development from last season we can just uh, continue uh, now in the pre-season. When you compare, for example, um, 20 days here in, uh, in Russia of uh, off, of uh, holiday, it uh, is a big difference with, for example, um, in other countries where you have three weeks or six weeks uh, of holiday. First of all, the big rest period in Russia is in the winter period, where the players have six to seven weeks. And, uh, for example, in Belgium, players have only two weeks rest in, uh, in the winter. So like the winter period in Belgium is like here the summer period. In foreign camp, uh, our team plays uh, very much games in two weeks. Uh, it's uh, quite specific uh, preparation. Uh, these games uh, have uh, mostly tactical goals or physical goals. When we started the pre-season, our first game was um, after one week where we, uh, where we played the first game. And after we had like two weeks of two games in one week. So uh, it was a combination of the physical preparation and the tactical preparation. But uh, more important, it was the preparing of the team. And it's almost exactly the same team as last year. So uh, it's more the continuation of the tactical development of our players and of our uh, team to, uh, to improve the playing style the coach will, uh, will use in this season or will use in specific games. Uh, uh, some uh, coaches think that uh, it's uh, quite dangerous to play uh, games in a uh, very high intensity of physical work because uh, it uh, may finish uh, injuries and something uh, wrong things. Uh, how to combine correctly uh, games, games, games uh, on, uh, on the camp and uh, physical work? Is it easy? That's the big difference, I think, in our work, what we do, because um, it was not too much the physical preparation now in four weeks. What was our main goal? 
um, because, like I said before, our physical preparation started already last year in June. We continued in January and February. During a full season, we were in one specific way, step by step, progressive, progressing during a, a season. So now in these four weeks, we don't need to prepare the team from a physical point of view, but we just can focus on continuation of the playing style and of our work with the, with the team development. So um, we only train on the pitch like one time in the day. We combine this with uh, games at specific moments in, uh, in our pre-season. And one thing is very important for us, that is that we always try to avoid uh, fatigue. We avoid uh, the accumulation of fatigue because accumulation of fatigue is the biggest enemy of a football player and it's the biggest risk to get injuries. So from the other end, when you should combine very hard the physical preparation with a lot of training sessions in a day, with a lot of training sessions in a week, and from the other end you play a lot of games with the same players, the combination of this will give fatigue, will give accumulation of fatigue and will give a bigger uh, risk for the players to get injured. So we avoid this strategy and we focus on the continuation of the team development, of the playing style. We focus on quality in the training session and the combination with, uh, with our games. And the game is always a starting point and in every game and in every training session we try to have all the players fit and fresh at the start uh, to avoid all those uh, negative uh, things. And until this moment, we can see that after like three weeks and a half now, we have null injuries in the pre-season. Uh, the players, they have a good feeling, they are relatively fresh, they are fit, already fit from, uh, from last season. So it's not a big problem in our preparation, the combination of end training and, uh, and games, because we try to do the right things at the right moment. In the end of the game against Ceska, it seems that our team uh, was a bit more tight uh, when they are uh, opponent. Is it uh, true or it uh, just uh, seems like this and uh, why uh, it uh, may be? But I think the fact, and that's objective, is that Ceska is a very good team with very good players uh, who played a long time together and um, probably they are just a better team and they have a, a better playing style and uh, they can quicker play the ball and they are uh, bigger and, and uh, stronger players than our players. So maybe we have to learn more in this game and uh, we have to adapt more to the opponents. So maybe that's uh, an explanation why, uh, why it seems that our players look tired after uh, over the end of the game against uh, CSKA. But I think that's just the big difference between a top team and a uh, and team like, uh, like Rilia for the moment is. Because we just promoted from FNL, we played a full season games against the opponents in FNL in a lower level, and now you play against the, a big team who play every year uh, in the European League or in the European competitions. In the end of uh, the season we have some uh, injured players. Uh, now, are they ready to work? in 100% uh, with uh, other team or maybe uh, they need some time extra to recover? Yeah, we have still three injured players from last season like uh, Jakovic, Bozin and uh, Shilnikov. Shilnikov will be very soon back into the, in the team training sessions while um, Bozin and Jakovic need uh, several weeks more to uh, recover from, uh, from their injuries but they are going now also in the right direction and also in this case the most important is when they come back into the team that they are uh, ready to train and ready to play games and uh, not for only one or for two weeks but that we have them until the end of, uh, of the season so uh, also here it's important not the short term um, uh, priorities but we have to look also in the in the long term they have to come back and they have to be ready for a, for a full season so uh, we work hard on that and uh, after uh, several weeks they will be back in the team. Uh, during the week uh, we can see some specific uh, work without balls uh, that you do uh, with uh, players. Uh, can you tell, uh, if it's not a very big secret, uh, <laughs> uh, what uh, are you doing, what's the goal of these exercises because uh, they are quite interesting. <laughs> yeah. 
in football there are no secrets. It's only trying to do the right things at the right moment with the right players. So um, what we do is uh, most of the time after the games we have like one or two recovery days and also one or two days off after the game. Then we start preparing the new week in, uh, in preparation of the, of the next game in that week. The last two days before a, a game are like the tactical training sessions to, uh, to prepare the team more from a tactical point of view. And the other training sessions in the middle of the week, they are more with a focus on like football conditioning, injury prevention, uh, technical tactical training sessions. Um, so the work what you see with us without the ball can be like mobility flexibility as a part of uh, the recovery after the game. It can be like injury prevention of uh, football strength training to uh, improve the, the players from a strength point of view or from injury prevention point of view. Or it can just be like an activation, like a small session before a training session, like 10 or 15 minutes to prepare specifically for the things what we are going to do in the, in the football training. So all those things, they have a, a very important place in our training program. And these are the things you see on the, on the training pitch, but that's all to have the players in the, in the best conditions to, uh, to perform in the week, in the training and in the, and in the games, and also to, uh, to get them injury free for a, for a full season. Because the more you have all your players on the pitch fit and fresh, the more you can train with your best players, and the more the coach can uh, select the 11 best players in the games in the in the weekend and that's i think from that point of view always the main goal that the strongest team is always available for the for the head coach in the in the weekend from the other side we also do a lot of things off the pitch but uh, things what you don't see so like uh, nutrition like supplements um, like team building activities so um, also these things are very important in the process where we are in for the moment like the team building, you see some pictures, some movies like in Abu Dhabi and Turkey, also in Belgium and in Holland, in the camps what we did with the team, with the players, to, uh, to create a good environment to, uh, to improve. And uh, from nutrition and supplements point of view, I think we are, uh, we are stepping, we are making big steps in the process here. Also for us, because it's another culture, other habits and other things where we have to deal with. But um, the combination of all those things will, uh, will create the best possible environment for the team to perform and to, uh, to prepare for what we are doing this season and to achieve our goals. Bart, thank you very much uh, for your answers and we wish you good luck uh, in our first game of the championship. Thank you very much.